There are a few different ways that you can add collection lists within Squarespace. So we'll walk through the different ways you can achieve this. So the first thing you can do is head to main navigation within your Squarespace site and click on this plus icon. From here, you can choose page layouts and you can get started by selecting this gallery page here. So let's go ahead and click on one of these and then hit edit. So if we scroll down here to the image gallery and click on this image icon, we can go through these and either delete them if you wanted to keep the stock images you could and you can add your own images here. And this is how you can start building out collections of images. So let's go and click done. Another way you can create a collection, let's say you want to create a collection of blog posts. Squarespace has this whole collection section where you can choose blog, products, portfolio, or events. So clicking on blog, we can set up a collection of blog posts. We click into this. We can see the pre-existing blog posts that are here. You can click on these three dots to delete them. Let's say you have your blog post and you want to change some of the settings. Click on settings and you can change the featured image. Give it an excerpt. You can change your post URL. If you have multiple authors, you can change that here. You can also add tags and categories. And this is helpful if you want to um, have an image click through to only a particular set of blog posts that have a certain tag or a category or both. You can also turn on comments and you can highlight blog posts as a featured post. To add a new blog post, you'd come up here, click the plus button, and then you would add your blog post here. Once you're done, you would either publish this or schedule it. Let's say you're wanting to add a portfolio. You would add a portfolio collection and choose from a layout. And then clicking into this portfolio page, you have all your different projects here. If you wanna add a new project, you click on this plus sign and you would add a new project page. Clicking on one of these projects, you get to the project detail page and then clicking on edit. You can scroll down here, click on this image icon. And again, you can um, delete or add to a gallery. Let's say you are starting from a blank page and you want to add a collection list. So let's go ahead and add a section and we'll start from a blank section and let's add a block. So from here we can add a gallery and we can upload media for a new gallery or we can use an existing gallery that we've already created. Let's say we wanted to add a collection of blog posts here. We could click on this summary block and we could select our uh, blog or we could select our blog post. And if we click back you can then filter items by category or tag, and you can also only show featured blog posts, which is linked to that setting on the blog post that you toggle for a featured post. So this is how you can create collection items of, um, from different pages. Now let's add one more section and explore the list section layout. So let's go ahead and let's pick this one. If we edit the content, you can go into these items. You could replace this image and then down here, you could link this to a web address and you could pick particular blog post URLs.
unfortunately there's not a way to drill down further than just clicking to the blog three page but that's one way that you could create a a collection of items that links to different things on your site the last kind of collection item that you could add is a logo wall so let's go ahead and pick this one and you would replace these images with uh, whatever image you want to show so as you can see there are several ways you can add collection items in squarespace depending on your need and use case